Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing to look at touch events. In a prior video we did a touch event video where if we touch a particular part then we change one of the properties of that part. In today's video we're going to be using a touch event to trigger something for a different part. So we'll have one part that we stand on or bump into and that'll trigger some effect in a different part. Okay, let's dive in and see how we can do this. So for this video, we're going to be using two different parts. So let's go ahead and start by adding those parts into the game. So one of these parts is going to be the trigger. So this is the one that we're going to be either stepping on or bumping into. And the other part is the part where we're going to change one of its properties. So let me go ahead and make this one just a little bit bigger. And we'll also do something similar for the one back here, just to make it a little bit larger. And so what's going to happen is we're going to have this player touch this part right here. And then let's go ahead and make this other part turn invisible. Okay, so to do that, we're going to be adding a script onto this part here. So go ahead and click on it. Find it in the Explore menu and then click on the plus sign. Start typing the word script until it pops up in the menu. Then we're going to delete the print hello world message and start writing your own code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to say local. Part is going to be equal to script dot parent. And before we get too much farther to make our lives a little bit easier, let's go ahead and rename these two parts here. So for this one, I'm going to rename this one to Let's do touchpad. And for this other one, let's rename this one to block. The names don't really matter as long as you know which one goes to which. All right, so we got local part equals script.parent. Next, we're going to make our function. So we're going to say local function. And let's call this one invisible like we did in the previous video. Inside the function, we're going to write our code. Before we do that, let's set up our touch event. So we're going to say part dot touched colon connect. And then inside here will be the name of the function we want to run. So that's going to be invisible. Okay, inside the function here in the prior video, we said something like part.transparency equals one. But this time, we don't want to change this property for this part. We want to change this part's property. So to do that, we're actually going to create another variable. We're going to say local, and we'll call this one other part. And this is going to be equal to game.workspace.com block. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're creating a variable name for this other part, and we just called it other part. And then here is the reference for the part, which is where it's located in the game. So we started by referencing the whole thing, which is game. Then workspace is the next category down. And then inside the workspace, the part that we're going to be changing, it's called block. So right under workspace, this is the part that we're changing, which is this part right over here. Okay, so now what we can do inside of our function is we can say other part dot transparency and we're going to set this equal to one so that it turns invisible. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and see if it's working. Okay, and you see as I touch the part, it turned invisible. So now let's head back to the script and see something else we might be able to change with this. So another property we can change is instead of transparency, let's change the bricks color. So we're going to say other part dot brick color. And we're going to set this equal to brick color dot new. And let's change it to red. So we're going to write really red. Just like that. We can leave the function name the same. It doesn't really matter. Or you can change it to something like color. If you do change it, just make sure you update it down here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and see what the change is. Okay, let's go ahead and walk onto our part here. And we see that our part changes to red. Okay, so just being able to change the properties of different parts, you can do a lot with this. 
This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.